Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be doing a cake tour of my double coordination as you can see right here. And if you're wondering why I'm filming this video, if you've watched my previous videos and you know that I filmed a cake tour about two months ago, it's because I have added so many more things to my cage. I have lots more hammocks, I have so many more shelves and toys and so many more fun things for that. So I just cleaned it just now and the rats are still in their small cage so I need to put them back in here while I film this. And anyways, let's hop into this video and get started. So I just put the boys back and they are busy exploring. You exploring? And they are doing very well. So let's get started. So starting at the bottom on this door, I don't have anything, but you can probably tell by these little clips. I used to have a water bottle right here, which I will still have uh, later on. But since the, there was a uh, like thing that held the water bottle and it snapped, so it was just made out of like some elastic or something. Because I think the one that originally came with it also broke, so we're going to have to fix that. But luckily they still do have a second water bottle in the cage. So right now this is just empty. And then at the very bottom of that cage, just lined with fleece, we have this, it's like a shallow packing box that I cut like a little door in back here. And on top of it is another little hidey over here. It's not focusing because it's a bit dark, sorry, because there's a shelf up here, but it's kind of hard to see. And then moving on to the next part, we have the little box and I plan to still put another cobble thing down here, but I do not have it. Hello there. Hi, Ron. And on this door, I have my shelf, my handy dandy shelf that's been here since forever, but it has zip ties and I just want to leave it on and it's in a good place and we just have some fleece down here, fleece up here, and I also have this bowl that I recently got from my friend, I think it's like a dog bowl, but I'm going to use it for pea fishing so I'll just put it here for now. And dangling from up here we have just a simple rope and another dog toy that's a bit wobbly. Moving on to the shelf, we have a PVC pipe that leads to the top of the cage as well as this wooden hidey that my brother made, which has made a lot of appearances on this channel. I also have a food bowl with some food in it, and I don't have a ladder because they can easily get from here to here if they need to. And I have a little foraging toy that has some oats and toilet paper in it. Hi, Elmer. And I have this shelf over here that I've covered with fleece. And in it, I put another shallow, like, packing box with some, just some fleece, torn up fleece in here. So they really like that. And on top of there, we have someone's modeling right now, one of the three brown brothers. But just the OG bond hide. And then straight above that, we have um, probably one of the first hammocks I've ever made, which is a blue on one side, purple on the inside, double-decker hammock. So that's it for the first level. I have a lot more things I plan to add right here, and I might switch out where the shelf goes later on, but for now I'm pretty happy with it. On this door, I just have a lava ledge. I plan to get another one to put here, but for now, they rarely use this because, I, as you can tell, when the door is closed, it's in a really good spot that they can get from hammock to shelf to other hammock and all that type of thing. Um, on the side here, we have this bathroom double decker shelf so there's one layer over here one layer over here and I really like these because they give a, your rats a lot of places to perch and hide and also you have a lot more option of like attaching like hammock clamps and shower curtain hooks and stuff like that to it instead of having to go all the way to the bus so lots more options to hang your hammocks so attached to this shelf we have my dinosaur a big long hammock and we also have a double decker galaxy hammock which a tutorial will be coming out really soon about how to make one of these and it matches the other ones up here but they really like this they have to the thing is a bit over here but it's not like a big deal and as long as they don't fall it's all good and moving on up here we have like I said before this one that matches this one so just a single one it's about 14 by 14 and behind that, we just have a simple cube that I made like, six months ago to set like a single layer of fleece. It's pretty bad made hammock, but it serves a purpose and they really like to sleep in this. And I need to put some cardboard or something in here, but I've had in the cage with cardboard and without, and they seem to go in it when there's no cardboard, which is surprising because it's really, you know, it bounces a lot, but they really seem to like that. And they also, uh, the babies love to sleep on the top because they're light enough for it not to sag that much, and they really like that. This door we just have a water bottle and this shelf over here, which you were just playing with this. Show them how you play with this. Show it. Yeah. But I just made this foraging toy. That's super easy. I, there's lots of tutorials online. And I just cut up some egg box and I put some 
treats in there. So I put some normal oxbow and some oats, if you can see in there. And then we just have this shelf. Down here, kind of in the middle of like, this is where the cage, I guess, is divided into technically part. The higher part and the lower part, we have just this fall breaker hammock that is store-bought. It's the only store-bought hammock in my cage, so this is it. It's, it has like a really nice fluffy edge and polka dots and blue, and it's always in the cage. They really seem to like this, not really for sleeping, but to get across the cage or whatever. And I have another one of these homemade foraging toys over here that they like to use, as well as this plastic, I guess it's more for like a toddler toy or something like that, but I've repurposed into a rat hanging basket that they can get their oats and food in from there. And we also have this, as you can see, it's hanging from a long way with all these shower hooks. And we also have this flat hammock, which is a really big hammock going all the way down there. It leads us to that rope all the way down there, which I'll go under here to show you. So I forgot to mention we have these two baskets. We have one blue one and another blue one over here that I have placed in slightly different positions since you have lost all them in previous videos. And we also have this dog rope hanging all the way. It goes all the way up there to here and they use that to climb down the cage if they need help or just to climb on for fun. Moving back up onto this high shelf, this is the last section of my cage so like I men mentioned before I have this foraging toy. I also have this other foraging toy that has some oats in it and stuff like that and I have this tube that Theo was just going in and playing with but I've never done this before I'm just trying to I just hanged it hung it with some shower clips but it's just here and I'm curious to see what they're going to do with it and then this and if you've been following my account for a while you know that this has made a lot of appearance in like product videos and stuff like that as an example so we have that and back there we have their OG blue hammock which first came with Frankie and Ellen when we first got them about a year ago so that's pretty cool and just this cup which has some food underneath that they can go and find and another single galaxy hammock up here and Theo which he's showing you kind of is just an old shelf that came with their travel cage meant for a dwarf hamster which in any case was way too small for a dwarf hamster and I just hung it up here with some food that they like to go on. Anyways that's the end of this video here is an overview of the cage. Um, I Since last time I've made a lot more hammocks like I made all the galaxy ones I made this one and I added some new ones like this one in which are old hammocks that I made but I haven't used them for a while and all the boys are really enjoying them I think the younger boys have actually encouraged the older boys to get up and move around as you can see all the little boys are running around going crazy and then Elma is just chilling here being an old man you an old man and yeah this is their whole cage let me know in the comments if you like it and if it maybe gave you inspiration for your own cage and also like always, tips are welcome and ideas for future videos. That's it. Bye!